Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another day of the video Darren, how's it going today? Today it is a Thursday and we are chilling um, at home again because that's what we do these days when it's um, weekdays and stuff. We go back to uni next week so until then I'm basically hanging about the house. I woke up this morning and I was feeling pretty tired as well because I was like, um, <coughs> no no it's not, this door, this is the door we close. Um, I feel weird vlogging when you can see the toilet behind me. But we have to keep the door open because we've got to like demist it from the shower and stuff. So, <sighs> um, but yeah. So I woke up this morning. I was feeling pretty tired. I don't particularly know why. Um, I don't remember getting up in the middle of the night. But I don't remember having a good sleep either, particularly. So I don't really know what's going on there. To be honest with you. Uh, but got up, um, had a shower, got dressed, um, and I got Graham out. We had a little play. Uh, in my hands and stuff and we put her in a ball. She didn't really get to come out much last night because um, she didn't come out at the normal time she comes out. She normally comes out about like eight or half eight. She comes out for like a good hour and a half. Um, but she only really came out at 10, so we only got her out for half an hour. So she didn't have chance to like go and play around in a ball. So I got her out in a ball. Also got an excuse to empty out her tubes. So I emptied out her tubes, emptied out all of her bedding except the stuff in a tube. I tried, I tried, um, I filled up a food bowl and stuff, and I tried to, an experiment here, where there is sawdust at the bottom of the bedding in here now. Like the sawdust at the bottom there. So originally we just had like bedding. And I tried sawdust and bedding. Um, it's clearly having a brilliant effect. Honestly, don't even know with this girl. Um, <laughs> she obviously doesn't like the thing like she chews around with it like this morning when I was getting ready and stuff um, she pulled this entire bed like this is quite heavy it's wood it's genuinely quite heavy um, and she pulled it so it was like at an angle like that so I've pushed it back so it's against the wall again and given her more space so she can come I think she likes to play here and I don't know why but she likes to play there bless her um, but yeah, that's your morning Graham update. <laughs> Guys, I've just sorted out my daily vlog, um, and I'm just, well no, actually, uh, while I was waiting for Laura to get ready, because what I do basically is, Laura gets up, has a shower, and then I get up and get have a shower, and then like, I get dressed, but otherwise I don't do anything else, like I don't go and brush my teeth, I don't gel my hair, I don't gel my hair yet. Um, but I don't go and do anything else, because I don't want to get in her way while she's getting ready. Normally, on a, a university day, I get up at six, um, have a shower, she gets up at quarter past six and then she stays out of my way until I leave and then she gets ready at seven because she doesn't have to leave till eight. Um, but yeah, so while I was waiting for Laura to get ready and stuff I busted out my laptop because I was doing some programming work on my laptop uh, yesterday and I just wanted to finish it off so that I could sync it up with the server and stuff um, push it over and now after my daily vlog I'm now getting back into it and I'm going to sort out some more cord. Um, I'm expecting to go out today at lunchtime. I'm going to go and head into town. A, because I don't have enough sandwich meat, because I've made a mistake um, and bought too few rashers of uh, beef, because I forgot I was going back to uni next week, lol. I need to go out and buy lunch um, and on Sunday this week, because I don't have enough lunches. Um, and Laura, I like to go and have lunch with Laura sometimes because it really brightens up her day when I'm around to make it better. Oh, also as well, something that I'm, a problem that I'm trying to solve. Uh, you remember that job interview that I had booked in for tomorrow? They emailed me and said, oh, we've got the dates wrong. Would it be possible to do next week? And the day they want to do next week is my birthday. They email back and says, while it's possible, I don't have as much time. Like, to do it in the evening on my birthday is a bit of a bitch because... Um, firstly, uh, um, firstly it's my birthday, so I don't necessarily want to go to a job interview. I think in, um, second year I went to a job interview on my birthday as well. Um, it's, it's, it always happens. Um, so, while I don't necessarily want to go on my birthday, I also want to, I've told them that, like, it's possible, but I have tickets booked in the evening so I have less time than I'd like so if you can bring it like earlier in the day or um, push it to a different day that'd be great but otherwise I can make it if you really want me to but obviously it looked yeah today so we'll see if they get back to me or not whether it throws a spanner in the works for my birthday but anyway let's get into some programming ladies and gentlemen is this daily vlog fully published 
but it's on its way. It's on its way to being published, and then we're all good. We're all good in the hood. Well, ladies and gentlemen, so I am. Um, I'm not going to meet Laura in town anymore. Um, I just booted up my laptop to, what I was going to do was I was just going to copy over all of my um, code. I'd synced it up to the server, put it back down again, well I wanted to put it back down again onto my surface so that I could take my laptop with me to, um, to town. And then I was going to take the thing that would like let uh, University of Bristol, let me use their library basically. And I was just going to go down there, do a bit of shopping and go there. Um, so I do, I turn on my laptop and then it freezes on the login, like on the, not even the login screen, but the surface screen. It just goes on, surface, and then it goes to the lock screen. And it freezes there. And I'm like, the fuck man, so I turn it off, turn it back on again, I Google for half an hour trying to figure out what's going on. Like, people are saying it's a known issue, you have to just take it back to Microsoft and they'll replace it. So I find my receipt for the Surface, which is obviously a weird receipt <laughs> because of how I got the Surface. Find it, print it off, get it ready, and I could do a bit more Googling. I'm now like getting ready to drive up to um, Cribs Causeway so that I can go and take it to Corey's. Um, then I find this other thing online where it's like do this and do that and then it kind of like forces another reboot because obviously I'll turn it off, turn it back on again, try to reboot it a load of different ways. It's a disconnect to everything, take out like all your little like the S, uh, SD card and all that kind of shit, take off the keyboard pad, do this, it'll take you to the config screen uh, like the old BIOS but it's not really BIOS um, and then uh, it will like press exit and it'll boot and it'll work and it'll work fine. But because of that, it's now 20 to 1, Laura has a lunch at 1, and I'm like, I can't make it in town. So I've messaged her saying, I'm like, I'm really sorry, I'm not going to make it. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, so I'm now stuck here, ladies and gentlemen. Otherwise, though, it's bloody warm. It's so sunny outside, this flat is roasting. I'm sat in my office, hot. I'm actively hot. It's really irritating. So, but anyway, I don't really know what to do with myself now. I'm thinking of cleaning my car. I think I put on a polo shirt today to head to town. Ah, oh, you can see how cold it is. If it's too cold, because I've cause we've got a tap outside. We found it the other day because we saw someone else cleaning their car. So there is a tap for me to easily get more water and stuff. So it's actually more possible to do than it was at my old flat where I had to run up and down stairs like an idiot. Um, but yeah, seeing this though, I do kind of want to get it properly cleaned by a proper person. If it's really cold, then I'm not doing it because <laughs> my hands will be fucking freezing because that tap downstairs isn't um, isn't hot water. All right, look, let's see, let's do it because she is filthy. She's not even black anymore. Look, she's just grey and dirty. Ugh. Had a brief reprise um, from going to wash my like it is. It is relatively okay weather to go and wash carring, so I'm going to go and do it. But um, I just came back in, checked the post, and we got a bill from. Um, the electricity supply that we have before our current electricity supply and uh, they've tried to bill me 90 pounds for a month's worth of electric 90 that shit cray I uh, dug out the um, the real cost the real price and uh, disputed it because I was like hold on look look here this is not the price that I was thinking of this is the price because we've used, it says something like you've used 500, um, 500 kilowatts of electricity at night. No, we haven't. We've used 100. <laughs> if that. So, um, yeah. That's all dealt with though now. I'll just rung them up and like, oh, here's my meter readings. Um, can you reissue me a bill, please? Thank you. Anyway, let's go clean a car. <sighs> Gleaming. Just look at them wheels. Look how shiny they are now. You can even see the floor reflected in a. Oh, she's beautiful. Anyway, Christ, it's 20 to 3. I haven't had anything to eat yet. Well, I've got an apple. Because I was on the phone. Um, so, should I... Should I just get something small then? Something small to eat, do you think? If so, what? Should I get toast? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I am now working on the process of... testing my tests. And annoyingly, there isn't any kind of, um, not that I can find at least, 
an object which wraps around test running. Um, when I was doing builds, I thought I'd have to drop into PowerShell scripts um, or running processes in the command line, essentially. Um, and I thought I'd have to do that to do the builds, but it turns out there were actual .NET objects which wrapped around stuff like that. But for some reason, there isn't one for running tests, and that's so weird. Yeah, I couldn't find one on um, thingy either. What's it called? On nougat. Hot damn. I'm working through the legwork of um, building up the test runner solution. Um, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to use an inbuilt object, but it just means I'm just going to have to drop into the command line and call the tool directly. Um, it means I've got to pull information in from certain areas like the app config and stuff like that, and that's what I'm currently building. But the way that I've designed this, it's so quick and easy. Like, I've designed it with such a pattern, like a like a mold essentially and whenever I want to build a new scenario like this I just cook it, it's like a cookie cutter and it's just like right, okay build this, build that, build that and it just flows so easily so this is so similar to the way that we do the compiling until you get down to a very specific level and then it's completely different and that is fucking so cool I'm re like I'm having so much fun just writing out this stuff like writing all of the stuff to get me there is in itself quite complicated but it's just flowing out, it's just it's just appearing on the page in front of me like magic when I move my little fingers because of how well I've designed it. I'm gonna just blow my own trumpet line. So. Oh, you did So Laura came back and we cooked a curry um, and then we came in here and we've just been chilling playing with a hamster who's literally just monkey barred across all that way like an absolute champ. Um, uh, we, yeah, we had dinner and then we was watching uh, Netflix and stuff and you little shit I saw you just literally put all of that bedding in your mouth like a big fat slob oh well you're gonna take it too damn it just things literally as I turn the camera back um, but yeah it took us a while to get her out but when we finally got her out we like let her off in the ball she was running her hands for a bit she was running for a while up until the point where she had a little wee on me so it wasn't a big wee but just a little wee so I put my jeans in the wash Put my pyjamas on, had a shave, um, and now we're here. You alright? How's it going? Now, well, we're, we're thinking about heading off to bed, I don't know. Or said somewhere about going to bed, anyway. Uh, otherwise, though, um, the code, I haven't done any more coding since um, I last spoke to you. So, still lots to do. There's always going to be lots to do. The project's never going to fucking end. Well, I like it, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, tomorrow, more of the same, potentially an out into town. I'll catch you later.